Hey y'all, I'm Mike James and today we have Elise Phillips with us and today she will be teaching us a tutorial on how to do updos. Hi guys, um, I have a natural client that I'll be working on today. She's getting a formal updo. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hi guys, I'm back. I have our natural client with us. I'm using me hair care products. I have our moisturizing shampoo conditioner. I shampooed her hair twice with this. I have our rich and creamy conditioner. I let this stay on probably about five to 10 minutes. I placed her in the dryer and then I went to the bowl and rinsed her out. I used our leave-in silk detangling spray. I sprayed this throughout her hair and I let it sit for about three seconds and then I combed her out. And right before I blow dried her hair, I put in our Ultra Shine Mist. I sprayed that throughout her hair and used a paddle brush to blow her out. Now I'm about to use a spritz and mold her up. So now guys, the hair is all spritzed up. Um, I put the ponytail on with some bobby pins. Now I'm about to go ahead and start pinning it up. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna um, go through it with a flat iron just to form my curl. And you can put your flat iron, my flat iron is on 450, so you can put it on the highest heat. And you just wanna just make a, just a slight curl. And this will help you form your barrel curl. You're gonna also need some duckbill clips. It's really good to use if, you, if you're not um, used to making pin curls or barrel curls. So I always make my bare curls in a circle of form, and then I place a clip, just to pretty much plant it. Once I got my foundation, I'll spritz it. So after you spritz it, you'll smooth it with your comb. I prefer a rat tail comb so you can get in all kind of grooves and then you'll put your high heat on it. So I formed my first bear curl, and what I usually do is, after my first bear curl of foundation, I just walk my way around. I don't really jump spot to spot. Um, I just form it and then go like right behind it or in front of it. So it doesn't really matter how much hair that your client might have because sometimes the middle piece is bigger than other pieces. Her hair wasn't very long so I don't have a middle like a really big ball. But if she would have had a big ball it's okay because your bear curls can still cover it. And once again, you can still smooth it out with your spritz and your rat tail comb. So after you have your bear curl where you wanted it, you can place bobby pins in it to just have it anchored down. And I found out that bobby pins are a little bit better than hair pins because hair pins will slip out. I also left the tail end of her bear curl just to kind of help me cover up her ball so it'll just be like a little pin curl at the top but we'll just leave that there hi my name is elise phillips again i finished my client formal updo she can wear it to all kind of different occasions hi my name is jacqueline at collins and i want to say that i had a great experience at Esau salon and elise did a great updo on me and you can wear it out for any occasion and if you're watching the video i highly recommend that you come and check out Esau salon they're great <laughs>